Hello, 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 and welcome to Valentine Station. My name is Ruben. I am the Resourceful Mechanic, and this is episode one in how to build a raised bed planter on a budget. Uh, episode one here, we are going to go over the cost and design and how to make this reclaimed materials raised bed planter. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. What if building your raised bed planters was easy and did not have to cost a fortune? You can start your homestead or home garden today with this low cost reclaimed materials raised bed planter build. Say hello to my planter friends. Easy DIY construction that helps the planet. Using reclaimed supplies so it's sustainable. They are locally purchased, benefiting your community by supporting your local economy. I can best describe these planters by first telling you what they are not. These planters do not use the wavy metal that you see at the home improvement stores. Uh, this panel that we use is much stronger and cheaper to buy. So uh, the second thing about these planters are they are not a wood intensive build. Uh, because the metal panel is substantially stronger, uh, you only need a corner post to join the panels. You don't need a top railing or a wood side railing, uh, such as you see in other DIY raised bed planter plans. So we now know that these planters use a strong metal panel and are a minimal wood build. Let me tell you a little bit more about what makes these planters so special. They use a reclaimed corrugated metal siding. These planters are made from an industrial grade metal for long lasting durability. Uh, the best way to describe this panel is that, it, is that it is shaped like a cargo container or a shipping container, is that, is that it has a trapezoidal shape. Uh, it is commonly called wide rib or type B metal decking or metal roof decking. Uh, you can often purchase these items reclaimed from metal salvage yards uh, at a substantial savings over new materials. Another great thing about this raised bed planter build is you can use reclaimed lumber uh, if available to further increase your savings and have some very low cost raised bed planter builds. So you're probably wondering what are the cost? from 50 to 90 uh, cents a square foot. So I purchased my material from the local metal salvage yard, uh, Bulldog Disposal in Kingman, Arizona. And this is what it cost me to build a planter. For a two by two planter, the metal cost was $3.75. For a two by four planter, the metal cost was $5. For a 4x4 planter seen here, the metal cost was $7.50. And for a 4x10 planter seen here, the metal cost was $13.12. So let's go ahead and go over the wood cost. To make these planters, the 2x2, two two, a 2x4, two or the 4x4, four four, you need uh, 80 inches of 4x4 four lumber uh, corner post per planter. A four by 10 planter needs a middle post also. I used reclaimed lumber that I was able to get locally for my build. Uh, so my cost for that, for that was zero, uh, but I will tell you the local lumber prices right now if you were to build these. So uh, here locally at the time of making this video, uh, a four by four by eight, the, the amount that you would need to make uh, the three sizes of these planters is $16.92. I have a bonus uh, money saving tip here. Uh, you can save over 50% in your new lumber build. If you use two by four plant, if you use two by four lumber and you double them up. Uh, so just double them up like Sir Mix a lot, double up. Oh, oh. And then uh, the cost of that would be seven dollars so for two two by fours uh, by eight here locally it is seven dollars i have a cat that's here uh wanting to get in the shot so trying to manage here 
This reclaimed material planters build may not be for everyone, so I'll discuss any potential issues or problems a DIYer can face. Uh, number one is a scouting trip. Uh, you will have to go to the metal salvage yard uh, to inquire about the material. Um, second is transport. Some of these panels can be up to 16 feet long. So if you buy those uh, such long panels, uh, you will need a trailer or a truck, large truck, to get them home. And third, uh, processing. The same as with the all lumber build, you will need to cut the material to length and uh, drill some holes there uh, to fasten it together. Uh, the reclaimed material that I got needed an additional step. It had some latex uh, seam sealant on the edges that I had to scrape off with a putty knife. So coming up next in episode two, we will show you how to build these, how to construct these planters. Um, Thank you very much for joining us on how to build a raised bed planter on a budget, reclaim materials build, and we'll see you in the next episode, episode two, assembly and construction. Have a great day.